This, it's all good. Stitches come out day after tomorrow. Hey everybody, I'm Hugh Brownstone for Three Blind Men and an Elven, and welcome to episode two in our new series, What's in My Kit? Today, I want to talk about Jiyun's Weeble S Three Axis Gimbal. In less than 10 minutes, seriously, I'm going to do it. Though actually, I don't really want to talk about it because it is, in the end, only a tool. It is only for video. And I am constitutionally built, actually, to be a writer, a photographer, filmmaker, teacher, or hey, I'm okay with this, gearhead and YouTuber, but not a camera op, not a gimbal op. Claudia isn't built to be a camera op or gimbal op, and she's never, almost never, been about the gear either. But she's darn good at it. And we do like the dynamism that gimbals can provide. Still, the less gear we have to schlep, manhandle, or recharge, the happier we are. If we could, and we've been modestly successful at it, we'd limit ourselves to an iPhone on a Osmo Mobile or an Osmo Pocket and call it a day for scenes like this. The only thing that's better than having a brand new camera is having two brand new cameras. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I just want a camera that represents the shortest distance between my intent and my ability to execute. And just to experience. That is a hunk of meat. So. <laughs> or this. that you would see a medium format camera with a wireless mic and headphones coming out of it. All right, hold that for a second. I played volleyball, soccer. I mean, anything athletic, really, I'm into. In fact, with the arrival of Panasonic's Leica DG Vario Sumilux 10-25 1.7, Coupled with the autofocus improvements in firmware 2.6 for the Panasonic GH5 and 2.0 for the G9, and Freewell's all-day magnetic quick-swap variable neutral density filters, thank you all for making the gear available to us, we stopped using these little guys altogether, and even put away our Sony A6400 and Crane M. The IBIS system in these two Lumix cameras is superb, but okay not gimbal superb. Still, like any technology, one takes the time to figure out how to play to its strengths and minimize its weaknesses. Six and a half stops worth of IBIS and nothing else is pretty freaking awesome. Capable of yielding gritty kinetic footage like this. I shoot in New York to feel alive. I connect with people, not the internet. My preoccupation is the real world, not menu settings. And yet, there are times when the emotion we want to convey calls for a different kind of look. And for that, a gimbal can be indispensable. Like this. Claudia shot that last clip using the Weeble SG9 combo. This one, actually. And you know what? That's it. We're done. We don't need more. That's because the Weeble S is the bigger, stronger, younger brother of the original Weeble Lab. Not only are the motors strong enough now to handle a package this size and weight, 51 ounces, but the S has been updated with auto-tuning that I only ever saw back in the day on something like a Ronin M. In fact, the Weeble S is most comparable to the latest Ronin SC. They're within spitting distance of each other in terms of price, size, functionality, weight, and payload. 
ten dollars here the ronin is 10 bucks cheaper at 429 a little lighter there half a pound in the weeble's favor making it an even two pounds though one i do prefer the weeble's handling for low angle shots and two to be fair i haven't spent much time with the sc anyway the weeble s retains all of the other things that made the original weeble lab so interesting most especially the very clever industrial design i'm talking about a relocating the batteries out of the traditional handle and then leveraging that design choice by creating a mini tripod handle extension that can be relocated to make low angle shooting a breeze to which i just alluded or when it's attached to the bottom of the grip perfect for balancing b axis locks and a really well thought out quick release plate to make it even more of a cinch to balance while retaining the ability to momentarily remove the camera for non-gimbal shots and then snap it back into place without having to rebalance and having the confidence that you won't have to rebalance. C. An arm design which makes the camera's rear screen much more visible at all times than earlier generation gimbals. And D. This is especially important to us. Small enough, light enough to fit into a backpack along with other things like a camera and a lens or two, filters and mics. My plan had been to check out the video transmitter and zoom focus motor that come in the Image Transmission Pro package, explore the ZY app too, but a funny thing happened on the way to Coney Island. I made a bet with myself that with the G9's upgraded autofocus, we could get away with just the Panasonic Image app on my iPhone and call it a day. I figured we could first tee up how I wanted the framing, even though I was the on-screen talent, Claudia and the camera and gimbal set up six to 10 feet away. Second, share a screenshot of what I was basically looking for with Claudia so that we could then discuss tweaks or other thoughts she might have as the gimbal op. And finally, third, use that industrial strength smartphone holder. Where is it? Yeah, here. To attach my iPhone 11 Pro to the Weeble S so that Claudia could see even more clearly the image in real time, far superior to using the G9's very good rear screen. And I was right. That happens every now and again. When it comes to nits, really, I have only two. First, pretty much like the original, it makes no sense for any buttons, dials, and in this case, also the LCD panel to be placed precisely where you're very likely to cover it all up and then accidentally activate those controls whenever you firmly grasp the handle. Second, I wish we could charge the batteries directly through a USB-C port while they remain inside the battery compartment because the odds are fairly good that I'll just lose that separate charger. I've done that more than once. But you may be much better, I hope you are, than I at this sort of thing. Yes, I probably should, and at some point I may very well check out the ZY app, but it's completely unnecessary for the way we work. Then again, neither nits nor comparison shopping changes the bottom line. The Weeble S is a compelling piece of kit at a compelling price point, making it relatively easy to add significant production value to your work. Highly recommended. That's it. Thank you.